Hi, today I'm going to show you how to calculate continuous compounding on the Texas Instrument BA2 Plus calculator. I'll show you three different ways how to complete this calculation. The first and purest way from a mathematical point of view is by using the number E button. The other two ways are by using the iConv or time value of money functions on this calculator. These are technically an approximation but they'll give you an answer close enough for most applications. The most appropriate option of the three will depend on which of the variables that you need to find. Time value of money is most likely the best option for finding a future value. I think the iConv is best for finding the continuous compounding rate from a simple rate or the simple rate from a continuous compounding rate. So let's kick off with the number E first. We'll use a simple example to help us. If someone invests £10,000 into an account for three years with a 7% interest rate that compounds continuously, what is the value of the account in three years time? The number E button will convert the 7% simple interest rate to the real continuously compounding rate. So we press 0 0.07 then press the second and um, e to the power of x which is the ln key then input minus one and equals which gives you the continuously compounding rate of 0.0725 So back to the question once we have the continuously compounding rate press plus then input 1 then y to the power of x input 3 then multiply that by 10,000 and equals and the calculator should give you uh, 12,336 and 78 pence, which is the value of the account in three years time with continuous compounding. So next, the ICOM function can also convert the 7% simple interest rate to the real continuously compounding rate. So you press the second and then the iConv button and input the number 7 and press enter and then you press the down key twice and input 1 and then 9 zeros and then press enter. By inputting a very large value for the number of compounds per year it gives you an approximation of infinity which results in continuous compounding and press the down arrow twice and come this will give you the annual continuously compounding rate under EFF of 7.25081825 so then we divide by 100 and plus 1 and equals and then we press y to the um, to the power of x and enter 3 multiplied by 10,000 and equals Again, the calculator should display 12,336 and 78 pence. The final way of answering the question is with the time value of money function on the calculator. So press second, clear time value of money. That gets rid of any previous calculations. And then you want to press uh, second and IY
and input the number one and enter if it's not already there and then press the down arrow and enter one and then nine zeros and enter and then second and quit just make sure you go back and change the CY back to 1 so it doesn't mess up your future calculations. Then input 3 and press N and enter. And then put 7 in the IY and enter. And input 10,000. Make that into a minus and PV for the present value and then press compute future and for the final time the calculator should display 12,336 and 78p thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful have a wonderful day